Our brain is made up of a network of neurons that fire in complex ways to produce our ability to think. Artificial intelligence researchers try to create intelligent robots by making simulations of our brains called artificial neural networks. Because nature has created all these amazing creatures and has created our brains, we want to harness the power of natural evolution to produce intelligent artificial neural networks. To do so, we use evolutionary algorithms. Traditional evolutionary algorithms select for organisms that perform better at a task than others. For example, selecting for organisms that get closer to a goal. A drawback to selecting for performance is that evolution will often get stuck in local optima, areas of high fitness that do not lead to the goal. Recently, it has been shown that performance can be greatly improved by rewarding behavioral diversity, meaning that robots that behave differently from previous robots are rewarded. This encourages evolution to explore in all directions and eventually produce a robot that solves the problem. However, a problem with this approach is that generating new behaviors is often difficult, and we cannot select for new behaviors if they don't appear via mutation. Imagine a robot that runs into a wall. If five mutations must be made to produce a new behavior and intermediate mutations do not produce new behavior, it is no more desirable for evolution to generate four of the five mutations than none of them. Here evolution gets lost on what we call a novelty plateau, wherein new behaviors are difficult to generate. We decided to test if a solution to this problem is to encourage creative thinking in robots. We hypothesize that, as with humans and animals that are stuck in a mental rut when solving a problem, the way to get unstuck is to think differently about the problem. Consider this problem. A duck wants to get a peanut out of a glass bottle filled partially with water. First, the duck tries the obvious approach, attempting to fish the peanut out with a stick. The duck will try and try again, however this technique will not work. What is needed is a new idea. If the duck can think outside the box, it may occur to her to drop pebbles in the glass. This new idea leads to a new behavior and ultimately success. Our experiments show that the same principle helps robots get unstuck. When we encourage creative thinking in robots, they produce new behaviors and solve more complex problems. Previous methods solely reward behavioral diversity. To calculate if a robot is novel, the neural activations of the robot's sensor or input neurons and motor or output neurons are stored and compared to those of other robots. We call this the behavioral diversity only treatment and use it as the control in our experiments. We introduce a new method in which we additionally store the firing patterns of hidden neurons. This means that diversity in hidden neurons will be recognized in addition to diversity in sensor and motor neurons, effectively rewarding novel thinking in addition to novel behavior. We call this the creative thinking approach. To test this creative thinking approach, we evolve ball collecting robots. In this problem, the robots must collect balls and put them away in the illuminated area. Here, the creative thinking approach appears to perform better than behavioral diversity only, but the differences are rarely significant. In this version of the ball collection experiment, the balls must be collected in a specific order, increasing the difficulty of the problem. On this problem, the creative thinking approach performs significantly better than behavioral diversity only for a range of generations. In another difficult variant of the ball collection experiment, the balls are tucked away in a corner. In this setup, the robot is less likely to run into a ball, making the problem harder to solve by chance. Here we see that the creative thinking approach significantly outperforms behavioral diversity only at nearly every generation. To summarize, we have defined what a novelty plateau is and introduced the creative thinking approach as a way to overcome it. Our results show that encouraging creative thinking in robots is increasingly helpful on harder problems. We're excited about this method because it could greatly increase the complexity of artificial neural networks and the tasks they can perform, bringing us one step closer toward evolving truly intelligent robots.